In the distance, I hear the rumble, like the angry roaring of the gods. Neither man nor beast, nor mighty Thor's hammer could compare. But I'm not afraid. As it approaches, I bask in the reverberation. It engulfs me, sweetly intoxicates me. No, this is not the angry roaring of the gods. This sweet, deathly, dangerous call is cried by Africa's most menacing predator. This is the call of the Mirage F-1. The South African Air Force's acquaintance with the Dassault Brigade Mirage F-1 started in 1975 with the arrival of the first Mirage F-1CZ. One year later, the first Mirage F-1AZ departed from France to join our line of fighters. This aircraft was a clear-weather derivative of the F-1CZ optimized for the ground attack role. In 1976, Major Harvey Winterbach flew the first Mirage F-1AZ tail number 217 inside the Republic of South Africa. In total, 32 Mirage F-1AZ fighter bombers were added to the South African Air Force's inventory. The Mirage F-1AZ offered a marked improvement over the Mirage 3, as it could carry a heavier weapons load over a greatly increased combat radius. Due to the fact that South Africa was involved in the Southwest African bush conflict at the time, the acquisition of these fighters could not have come at a better time. One and three squadrons flying Mirage F-1AZs and CZs respectively were deployed operationally together for the first time in November 1978. The Mirage offered a twofold increase in combat radius. The AIDA ranging radar was rather small and as a result, the F-1AZ could be fitted with a retractable air-to-air -air refueling probe housed in the nose. In the air combat role, the F-1AZ could be utilized for clear weather interception missions with missiles such as the Arms Corps V-3B and C Kukri infrared missiles being employed. These aircraft proved their reliability and the pilots proved their excellence as the statistics on the last seven months of the Southwest Africa deployment proved. 683 sorties were flown. 144 air raids in 191 days took place, with a total of 3,068 bombs delivered. Over 100 SAM missiles were fired at the F-1AZs with only one fatality. The skills of these pilots did not, however, just fade away after the war. Constant training sorties and weapons demonstrations at, for example, the Rudeval bombing range near Petersburg ensured that the squadron teams stayed as sharp as ever. The technological development was obviously of vital importance for the survival and competency in the South African Air Force. South Africa is the only country in the world that has had both Mirage F-1 types in service and a competent industry supporting them. In its quest to retain this competency, the South African aerospace company Aerosud entered into a joint venture with the Russian aerospace company Rusjet to create the so-called Super Mirage F-1. This upgrade package essentially consisted of fitting a new afterburning turbofan into the Mirages. This turbofan, the SMR-95, was developed by Klimov on the basis of the technology of the RD-33, which powers the MiG-29. The use of this fan resulted in improved takeoff performance and a lower fuel consumption, which in turn resulted in an increased combat radius. Avionics were especially critical in fighters such as the Mirage F-1AZ. Therefore, this aircraft was the obvious choice when it was decided to improve avionic systems in order to render the South African Air Force pilot more effective. Mirage 235 was the first in line to receive this facelift. The work that was done on this aircraft formed the cornerstone for the development of a modular generic avionic suite that can be configured in different applications in different aircraft. In its final form, 
It is a fully integrated avionics system capable of providing any modern avionics function. The pilots of the F-1AZ have always displayed their mastery of the flying craft. No more so than when the very difficult task of air-to-air -air refueling was performed with the Boeing 707 from 60 Squadron. The Mirage F-1AZ was not, however, purely a war machine. The F-1AZ has enthralled many an aspirant pilot with stunning performances at air shows around the country. The F-1AZ also played a role in more nostalgic events, such as during fly-pasts at farewell parades for various retiring members, as well as performing to perfection at events at which we have paid proud homage to our fallen heroes of yesteryear. All who have flown the Mirage F-1AZ will agree that there is nothing like the feeling of opening that throttle and feeling the absolute power of the 15,300 pounds of thrust catapulting you through the sky at Mach plus speeds. It would not, however, be proper to bid this master of the sky goodbye without making mention of the behind-the-scenes personnel that over the years toiled endlessly to ensure that these aircraft could be as effective as they were. We think of the various staff divisions at the squadrons with a special mention to the ground crew who in their daily duties held the lives of their pilots in their hands. The present close ties between the F-1AZ aircraft and the associated personnel, such as one squadron and base personnel, Denel Aviation, Air Logistics Command and Test Flight and Development Center, have created a formidable team that has functioned